So by now, I'm sure that you know that banks are greedy little pigs. It is probably what brought you into crypto in the first place. If you're anything like me, then you're tired of these high yield savings accounts that are returning 0.5% on average per year. Really Bank of America? Really Wells Fargo? I can't even get one full percent? So naturally, we look towards crypto for some passive income at high APYs. We're already a community that hodls, so might as well get paid to do so. So a few sites started popping up like BlockFi that were offering you interest for you to store your crypto with them. So it was actually pretty good when it, they first started. They were giving a lot higher APYs. Now, not so much. I've basically taken all of my money out of BlockFi. You can see that their returns right now are 4.5%, 1%, and 0.1%. That's even worse than the banks. On stable coins, it's a little bit better. It's offering you 5% up to 8%. But again, ah, these single digits, they just, they just don't do it for me anymore. Now there are other companies similar to BlockFi that have interest accounts that are offering way better returns like Celsius, for example, in the range of six to 8% return. But that still left me yearning for more. That's why I've spent the last few weeks scouring the depths of the internet so that you guys don't have to do it and so that I can test these methods out and bring you the passive income methods that work for me. This will be a new segment that I will be updating weekly. You guys can join in on the fun or just watch and see how it goes for me. None of this is financial advice. So with that out of the way, the first project that we're looking into currently throwing out a whopping 75% APY is PancakeSwap. PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange built on the Binance Smart Chain which is good because it is fast and inexpensive unlike the Ethereum blockchain. PancakeSwap is the Binance Smart Chain's version of Uniswap. The Uniswap protocol, of course, runs on the Ethereum chain. So just like Uniswap, PancakeSwap enables users to swap between cryptocurrencies by using user-generated liquidity pools. So this is how they make money and this is how we will make money as well. So to create these liquidity pools, PancakeSwap offers DeFi farming opportunities for liquidity providers. You can see here that PancakeSwap's liquidity is currently at $5.77 billion. If you compare it to their Uniswap competitors, you will see that PancakeSwap has outgrown Uniswap. Uniswap's only at $4.35 billion. I'm sure this has a lot to do with Ethereum's gas prices. Now, one thing that PancakeSwap does a lot better than Uniswap is that they reward people for staking cake. So your next question is probably like, okay, so how exactly do I earn passive income holding cake? So you have different options when it comes to that. The first option is farming. If you go here to earn, you can click on farms and it takes you to this page here. Here you can see all the different coins and what their APR is. So you will definitely see some random projects with very, very high APYs here. If you guys are interested in holding those, those coins, or if you guys already hold those coins, then you could just move your coins here and make some really good returns over time. Now, for the sake of this video, we are only doing cake. So if we take a look at cake here, you will see that it only says 42.85%. That's not that much, right? Well, I mean, depends what you compare it to. So what I'm actually doing, if you go up here to earn and you go to pools, you'll see that this comes up here, syrup pools. And now you see auto cake here for 75% APY. You'll notice that there's two different ones. Now the manual cake, what that means is that you have to manually compound your cake, but auto cake does it for you constantly and automatically. The only thing is that they do charge you a small fee, I believe it's around 2% for auto staking for you. Now for me, that's not a big deal. I'm not going to be manually compounding my stuff every single day, so 2% is fine with me. So to see what you're staking, you have to flip your MetaMask over to the Binance Smart Chain Network. So once I did that, now you can see exactly what I have staked and what my profit has been here. You can see here that a 2% fee is subtracted automatically from each harvest. 
and it, it is burned. So let's take a look at the numbers so far. So bear in mind that I've only had it here on Auto Cake for about a week at this point, and within that week, I've done around $71.91. In cake, I've done 5.8, almost six cake total in profit at this point. And my total cake that's staked is currently 432 cake or $5,300. So if we do some math here, we pull up the calculator, you will see that in one year, we will more or less make around $4,000 of $4,000 return or 75% return on our cake. Now, of course, this is assuming that the current rates stay where they are. But one thing that you need to know about this, that this is forever changing. These rates constantly move up and down and more down than anything, because as more cake gets created and put out into the market, then the percentage drops more and more. So as time goes on, you can expect this percentage to drop further down. When this first started, this was over 100% APY, and you can see now it's down to 75. So that's definitely something to consider. Another con to consider here is that remember, your money, your USD is going to be tied to the value of cake. So the issue with that is that as you guys can see here, as the value fluctuates, so does your investment. So you can see here that cake has had a big run up all the way to $42, over $40 but then it had a 78% drop. Then again, it had another nice run up here to a high of $25 with another 61% drop. So if you're looking to start investing in cake, you have to be aware of where the current price is and where the price could go. If we pull up this current resistance here, you can see a pattern has been forming where we've been rejected at every spot here. So although this is a good area to buy in as it's held as support here on multiple occasions here at that $10 range, we could very well be topping out around here and that's pretty much around that $16, maybe even $17, $18 range. Because remember, as more cake gets put out into the market, prices will probably drop because remember as more cake gets put out into the market prices will probably it could continue to drop so right now we might not be able to hit the all-time high that we hit before we could probably still hit that 18 19 maybe even 20 and double from this range but i don't know if we will get back up to that 40 dollar range unless even more money comes into the market now of course the pros with this project is that yeah, you're going to make for now around 75% APY. As you guys can see in just a week, I've done around $72 in profit. I'm expecting it to do anywhere around $300 for the month. And as you guys saw with the APY, I would be expecting to do maybe around three to $4,000 in a year. If you guys want, I will do a tutorial on how to stake your cake in the future. If you guys need one, I'll do a tutorial on how to stake your cake, but I'll do a very quick rundown. First, you need to add Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask wallet. Once that's done, buy some BNB and transfer it over to your MetaMask wallet. Once that's complete, go to trade and exchange and exchange your BNB for cake. After that, go back to pools, open up the details here for auto cake and enable cake and enable the pool here for auto cake. You will need to confirm on your MetaMask wallet, then hit stake and confirm again. And that's pretty much it guys, it's that simple. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications. And if you have any questions about anything that we covered, drop it in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.